Good afternoon, everyone. It's me, Miss Gabby, and welcome to another episode of Cap at Home Chill with Art, our awesome summer programming that we have all summer long. Um, and huge shout out to General Motors. You know, without them, we wouldn't be able to be coming um, every week and giving you some free art tutorials. You know, definitely check out our whole archive. We have so many. We've done so much, and you can find really anything and everything through our archives. So you can find us on our Facebook, our YouTube, or our Instagram. So why don't you check us out? But today, we are making some watercolor pinwheels. So let's just jump right in. I'll show you what you need. I'll just get adjusted here. Voila. Perfect. So this is my beautiful pinwheel that I made. And it's great. You can hang it up. You can give it as gifts, use them as decorations, or, you know, just have them as, um, you know, a gift or something. So what we'll need today is some watercolor uh, paper. And what we'll need, we need about four sheets uh, to make a pinwheel. So, and we want to make sure that they're this, um, like, 8.5 by 11, 9 by 12, a rectangle size. So you can make them in different shapes, but make sure that they're like a rectangle. So four watercolor sheets. And then I have my watercolors here. And then I have my paintbrush with a water cup and some water. Um, I have a hot glue gun and optional like a hole punch um, or something like that for the end to tie off some yarn or string. So if you have some of that too, um, some yarn or string, that will be great too. And I just have a pair of scissors here because I'm going to be using um, like this backside to uh, make sure that we're folding correctly. So we'll just jump right in. Um, and you see in my example uh, pinwheel here that I used um, four different colors because, you know, four different sheets of paper, but you know, you can make them uniform um, however you really want to. But if you want to do like a certain color theme or something like that. So let us just get started. Um, so I'll show you how far um, we need. So I actually am going to start off with just um, just a, with a, my water right away with no color. And I'm gonna just paint my um, watercolor paper. I'm gonna just douse it because I wanna try a fun effect. So I'm not going all the way to the edge. It's up to you. You can definitely go to the edge, but um, I like how my pinwheel had that kind of like white border. So I'm gonna douse my paper, just really saturate it with some water. And I think I wanna go with like a nice, like warm color and warm theme. So what I'm gonna do is just take some of my yellow and I'm just gonna kind of start to dab some color into the wet spots. And I really like watercolor because it's fun. You know, you can really see how it's gonna start to kind of spread. Uh, but sometimes if you're covering such a large sheet of paper, you know, maybe um, it will dry a little bit and you won't be able to see it spread so much, but I kind of want to create this like fun little tie dye look. So I'm just going to take my water and kind of brush it all over, but I'm going to go, I think I kind of want to do something more like watermelon kind of looking, or uh, I mean, sorry, lemonade kind of looking like strawberry lemonade or something. So you can start to see how the color is spreading within the water and kind of playing around and forming together with the color. So I'm just adding a bunch of water and then I'm going in and adding more color. So I really love how I'm just dabbing the, um, you know, like the pink color and how it's starting to spread. And when it dries, it's just gonna look so magical. Um, so I'm kind of just spreading it a lot around a little bit more, just making sure that I'm getting enough color saturation. So this is very simple. So I'm gonna go in with some more yellow. This is a little deeper yellow that I have here. So any watercolors will work. Um, you know, I have a palette here that has quite a bit of different colors. So it's up to you and like what you have, um, but you can really make anything work. And I find it easier to um, color the watercolor sheets, you know, paint them first um, before we make the pinwheel, just because it's just gonna be much easier um, to work with instead of, you know, folding our pinwheel and then having, um, Um, and then having to paint it afterwards, it just might be a little more difficult. So I'm just kind of adding some colors, some random, kind of keeping it that lemonade, strawberry lemonade kind of feel, and just dabbing them. So I'm excited to see how it's going to dry. 
So it will color your four sheets um, and we will let them dry. You know, it's a little bit of process, as you know, like with all my other like watercolors or if you ever painted with watercolors before, you need to, um, you know, have some time to let them dry. You can also, even after it does dry, like go ahead and add some other colors or something to it if you'd really like to. So um, now I'll show you what the next step are. So I already have some sheets painted. So I kind of went a more cool color look here and I'll just put my watercolors aside here so I have some extra room for us. So you can kind of see I used different colors and shades of blue and then kind of just splattered some like white just to give it that look. So I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just flip our page over so the, the colored page is on the outside and I'm gonna fold it in half um, both ways pretty much. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna take the back of my scissors and just make sure I'm creasing so I'm making a nice like fold that's nice and um, that's nice and good and creased. So I'm gonna open it back up and then I'm gonna do it the long way. So basically you're folding it once, um, hamburger and hot dog style. So I'm just running my finger along and then I'm gonna use the back of my scissors. So now we'll have basically it folded in both ways. So I'm gonna flip it back over this way. And now we're gonna kind of create an accordion. So I'm gonna take my one half here and just fold it right to the middle crease. So I'm gonna fold it and then crease it down. You see, we're gonna kind of create an accordion uh, fold. So then I'm gonna take this part now and I'm gonna fold it right into here, up to this folded edge. Make sure, you know, sometimes it's a little difficult if you're using a thick kind of watercolor paper, but it's okay if it doesn't line up perfectly um, because we're gonna glue it all together and you won't even really notice it anyway. So now I'm gonna take it back and basically, like I said, an accordion fold. So we're already being guided. So right to the middle line there, fold it, crease it, and we're just gonna keep going. So folding it like an accordion. Now I'm using a lot of pressure on my hands to make sure I'm folding it nice and creasing it. And it's okay if it's not perfect. And voila. So we have like basically an accordion folded. And next what we can do is I'm gonna just go ahead and fold it in half this way. So we're creating kind of like this fan. So now the next step we need to do is we're just gonna kind of glue it together here so it's creating that nice, um, like, so I'm gonna take my my hot glue gun. So if you have an adult or someone that can help you with the hot glue, um, that's good. You can also use like white glue um, or something, but you'll have to let that dry. So I'm gonna just put the glue there and I'm gonna fold it, kind of give it some pressure, even go maybe in there with that. And then I'm gonna just let it to the side to dry. So it's like you already have a fan. So I'm gonna put it to the side to dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time with this uh, sheet. So if you have all four all ready to dry and go, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, I already pre-folded two of them, so those are done and ready for me to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work using my scissors to crease. You can always also use a bone folder if you have that to help you make your creases in your folds and your marks. Um, but it's nice to always use something a little heavy to give it that pressure to make sure you're folding it correctly. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it here. Like this. And then I'll fold it back this way. And fold it this way. So basically like an accordion. So I'm just flipping my entire paper over there and back to create my awesome little accordion fold. So this is basically making a fan. Voila. So here we have that. And so there we will have this part. And make sure it's a nice little crease there. Um, and I'll take this glue and fold. We're gonna add that glue and then fold it together. Give it some nice pressure there. Maybe close it a little bit more. And voila. So we're lovely. So we have that one. I have this one. So those two I just folded like that. And then I have my third and my fourth. So 
Now the next thing to do is we're gonna just glue it all together. So we'll glue, glue one piece uh, like together to the next one. So I'm gonna add some glue to this side. And I'm working with hot glue just for the sake of the video um, because it just will be quicker for me to show you guys. So I'm gonna just bring that together, give it some pressure, make sure it's gonna stick together, voila. So we have one half of the pinwheel complete. I'm gonna add some glue here to make sure that this is really gonna stay together and stay down. Give it some nice pressure there. Make sure to be careful, like I said, if you have someone as an adult to help you, um, definitely you know, use them just because um, the hot glue is really hot. So now I'll take my other two and we're gonna glue them together as well. I'm gonna add that glue there and nice little strip. It's nice because I know that that will hold. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just fold that together after I added the glue. Give it some nice pressure. Make sure they're adhering together. And voila. So now we have two pieces together there and then these two together. So now we can kind of, um, you know, decide to add them together. So I'm gonna add some glue to this part and adhere it together this way. So I'll push them together, give it some nice extra pressure, give it some nice extra love. And then I will go ahead and add glue to this side here. So I'm adding some glue. We add some extra glue there, just so we're making sure that the middle stays nice and cl closed together. I'm gonna just take it and stretch it out. Be careful, because it, it's hot. So I'll just push those together, just so I know they're making sure they're staying together. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna just add some glue to the middle here and push them together to the middle. And there we have it. We'll let it sit for a second, let it chill out. Make sure it's adhered together. And voila, there is our awesome pinwheel. Whee! And you can make all different kinds of sizes. Um, you know, you can make them in all different shapes or in different colors, shades of colors is what I was going to say. Um, but now I'll show you we can um, how we can add. So I'm gonna just take um, this little part here um, where I'm going to then use my hole punch and I'm gonna take some yarn. Like I said, the, everything, that is all optional, um, but I'm gonna take some yarn. Depending on how long you wanna make it, I'm just gonna cut it and I'll thread it through the hole and then tie a nice little knot at the end here and voila, there we have it. Now we can have a tank. So there we have it. Here's our awesome pinwheel. So yeah, if you guys definitely follow along, please share your pinwheels with us. You know, you can share them here on our story or on our like Facebook post or on Instagram so we can put it on our story. Um, well, thanks for hanging out with me. Definitely check out our other archives and stay tuned for tomorrow.